Hello guys, and today we are back with episode 5 of this Pac-Man series. I hope you guys have been enjoying the um, previous episodes, episode 1, 2, 3 and 4, where we did Getting Started, Pac-Man Movement, Food, Score and Lies, and in this episode, we are going to be focusing on the enemies. This is the penultimate episode, there will be an episode 6 coming out soon, where we'll be just fixing up some bugs, any bugs that come up, and just making it look nice. That being said, let's move on to it. If you have been enjoying, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And yeah, let's get into it. So, to start with the enemies, we need to create a new list like we did with the food. We need to do an enemies list. And then, same thing, we want to do four, just use X. Doesn't really matter what you use here, because we're not using that variable in range let's have 10 the enemies i've already tested this they're gonna be the the movement's gonna be a bit iffy just now and then in the next episode where we refine everything we'll fix that so we want to do enemy not enemies enemy equals turtle dot turtle dot capital t enemy dot pen up enemy Dot color. I'm gonna do red. This can be whatever you want to match your game. It doesn't really matter. And then enemy dot shape. This also can be whatever you want. I'm just gonna have it as an actual title for now. You can change that next episode. Enemy dot speed. We're gonna set it equals. It's not dot. The dot speed equals to zero point five. And then we're gonna do x is equal to random this is to set everyone's position all 10 random dot randint minus 280 then positive 280 and same with y we can just copy and paste this over like so and then we want to do enemy dot set position to x and y like so and then finally like we did with the food down here foods dot append food we're gonna do enemies dot append oops new wrote food enemy so all ten of these will be in the enemy list right so now we need to make the enemy movement we're gonna set that here so right here enemy movement now we're going to remember to go back to here the start line def enemy movement make procedure and then we're just going to write here make the enemies move now for enemy in the enemies list so every, so all 10 in the list, index 1, index 2, index 3, index 0, all of them, up to 9, 0 to 9. We're going to do y is equal to each one's y coordinate. Same with x. Enemy dot x core. Now we're going to do y plus equals. This is something we're going to re refine this enemy movement is the main thing we're going to refine in the next episode. Enemy.speed, which is 0 0.5. And then we're going to do the same with x. Like so. And we're going to do enemy.set y to the new y. And then enemy.set x to the new x. Like so. Because this is not called yet, we're not going to run it. Just to let you know, I did change the movements. I don't know if it was 5 already before, but if it wasn't, you can change this to 5, which is this is the best speed I found to work with this. Right. Now that is done, we can move on to the next bit, which is down here in the wild true loop. We can go all the way to the bottom. Now, start here, but remember the indent. We need enemy and border here right so we're going to do four enemy 
Oh, wait, remember the event for enemy in enemies. We're gonna do all the border checking. If enemy dot x core is, I think it's more than 300, or enemy, so this is for any border, I think, so that's the right side, then this is going to be the left side, so it's going to be less than minus 300, okay, we'll go to minus 301 and onwards, now y core, or enemy dot y core, same here, and then same here, minus 300, now go inside that if statement, x is equal, to, oh we can just actually go up, just copy this, because that's what we need, just copy this, delete that, indent this in, then that's, that's that, enemy dot go to x y then we're gonna call enemy movement again here and we're also gonna call enemy movement down here just to show you guys that what that is looking like save that oh enemy movement is not defined oh we just spelled it wrong okay, there we go Now I'll run this, this is, because it's plus equals in the code, plus equals would mean, all go, plus equals y is going up, plus equals x is going right, so they automatically all go to top right. No collisions yet with the player, we're going to do that in a moment. They all go top right, we're going to be making this so they can go anywhere in the next episode, but for now, that's how it's going to be. All that working, and then yeah. You can optimize the speed of the enemy by however you like. If you would like, if you guys are enjoying the series, drop in the comments below if I should extend, make maybe a new episode on how to make levels and adjust the speed of the enemy with less lives and stuff like that. And a certain amount of points to go to the each level. We can do that if you leave a like and comment down below. Now, now we need to do the... A collision between Pac-Man and the enemy. So we're going to just write here enemy and Pac-Man collision. So we're going to do four enemy in enemies. We're going to do if enemy no. we're going to do if Pac-Man actually got distance to the enemy so any enemy, because it's in the list, we've specified here with the for loop. We're going to say less, we're going to say about the same as the food, so less than 10. We're going to do here, lives minus equals 1. We can actually copy most code from here for the border. We can do that like so. I leave a space here, and then in. Copy and paste, we can remove one of the lives line. Now indent all of this. You can just write it out again, but just to go quicker. Then now let's see if that's working. Like it should. Yeah, there we go. And you could do it also so the Pac-Man spawned at a random position. If you would like to see that, leave that in the comments below. And yeah, this has been Pac-Man episode 5 of this series, let's close that, this has been episode 5's enemies of this series, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and commenting if you would like me to uh, do the levels episode of episode I think 7 it would be, leave a like for that and subscribe, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time, peace.